what is up you guys and welcome to another LBA team analysis from yours truly the Sky Render. and today we're facing off actually Stardasher this week we're facing off Stardasher or the Latte Asumarils and his team are as follows Asumaril, Scissor, Talonflame, Megamonetric, Porygon 2, Lodias, Azel, Manibus, Tarantrum and Mian Xiao. So just in general it's a very 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 dangerous team and I had a bit of an issue actually building against this one. And that is mostly because I have so few mons that could work well against him. The six I chosen was the six who I see have the least amount of trouble against him. Um, the other four being out are the mons that are, well, basically slaughtered by this team. So the mons such as Tangrove, Slowking will not join this league or this match whatsoever. Dewblade kind of struggles, could work, but Talonflame keep it at bay, and so does Mega Manetric. So they are definitely out. So it came down to which one I want they're here and after, and um, even Sandslash kind of struggle in this environment. So uh, the six mods I've picked are the mods that, like I said, have least amount of trouble. So uh, with that said, let's actually get into the mods I decided to go with. First one pick was uh, Gardevoir. Uh, oh yeah, and I should also mention that yet again I screwed up the showdown, so I can't show you the exact EVs, but I will tell you what I had in mind basically. The Gardevoir's EVs are as followed. Um, fast enough, it's a scarf set with Healing Wish, uh, Moonlight Psychic and Hidden Power Fire. Um, just filler for Scissor if it comes to that situation. Um, enough speed to outspeed uh, uh, Mega Manetric, so uh, with Scarf in mind, which means I think we had 96 in speed, so not a whole lot. Uh, fully special attack and the rest is put to defense. And uh, the reason for that is to uh, actually deal with Mien Xiao rather properly if you decide to use it, but also just in general. I want to be able to survive an Aqua Jet for Asmarill and Retaliate. And uh, Mian Shadow's Poison Jet, which is the best move we can do, are with 156 in defense, enough to not be wanted killed by it. Which is important because we retaliate and kill it in, in the process back on on it, basically. So, Guard Wars' purpose is to hurt something hard. And, um, oh yeah, I can't take a Braver from Talonflame, I should say. Yeah, that's pretty much impossible. And,. Um, just basically having Healing Wish to make sure that Charizard can stay healthy or Kelio stay healthy, depending on his team. Next one up is Tentacruel, and um, it's there because of Asmaril. That's like the only reason I have it. It could deal with Mian Xiao somewhat, but in general it comes down to that Tentacruel is just something I need for Asmaril because I can't cope with it properly. I can outspeed it, which is nice, but that's about it, and that's a big issue for me. And next one is Thunders, and uh, nothing special to it. I have Thunderbolt, Dark Pulse, Thunder Wave, and I do believe Taunt. Uh, yes. So, um, this one is here. No, I have Focus Blast for Porygon 2, my bad. Um, so Dark Pulse, Thunderbolt, Focus Blast, and Thunder Wave. So, the basic idea. Fully special attack and fully speed to outspeed a potential Ladias uh, that is uh, max max speed is 110 because we can outspeed it, so that's something I'm gonna keep in mind. Uh, outside of that, nothing to it. It has a potentially, it could potentially uh, to it KO Porygon 2. It has a 60% chance of doing so. Uh, that is landing to Focus Blast people, so mm, maybe not highly unlikely. Uh, also, Dark Pulse uh, is a 50% hit, or over a 50% hit on Ladias and Aesulf. So, I know that that's a good thing, and it's a good filler move for Mega Manetric, who will most likely be the man that is going to force this guy out. Now, next one is Keldeo. I'm a bit with the same idea. Enough speed to outspeed Mian Xiao, and uh, some defenses, and the rest in special attack. Uh, can hurt everything in his team, Wall Sister to some extent, um, can with Hidden Power Electric, which I have on it, um, KO Asmaril for 50%, which is good. Um, have Cobra Berry for potential Talent Flame. Uh, Cobra Berry makes sure that a Braver does around 60%, 80 if it's banded, but um, 
Students in general needs to worry about that. Mega Electric yet again is an issue, and the other ones are not as terrifying. And the next one is Tyrantrum. No, Tyranitar. And also here is nothing really special. I have a few special defenses, a max HP, some attack, and some defenses. Not, nothing big to it, and it's a Pursuit Trapper with Stealth Rock, Thunder Wave, and Stone Edge. Uh, Pursuit is there to make sure that if Ace of Focus Sash and Sandstream, together with Pursuit, is enough to KO it. Um, same goes for Ladias. Uh, there is not a whole lot Ladias can do outside of the Energy Ball, which with the Sand would mean that it wouldn't really work that well against me anyway. Um, it's a complete response to Talent Flame, which could pack Hidden Power Fighting, or the Natural Gift Fighting. So what I'm going to use in this game is actually the Shopal Barrier to make sure to reduce fighting damage, which I hope will be helpful. Um, it's basically scary in case I screw up, which I feel are... Um, Always a factor in these games, you know, there always are opportunities for one to screw up after all. So that's something that I really, really need to keep in mind. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much the size of it when it comes to Tyranitar. Nothing special whatsoever. Uh, and the last one is, of course, as always, Charizard X. And um, this time I settle for actually just be able to outspeed uh, Tyrantrum. And with one Dragon Dance, I will outspeed Mega Manectric. So Mian Xiao is faster. Um, that could prove to be an issue if it is Scarfed, but at the same time, um, Charizard X will be enough bulky this time to actually avoid two hit KOs, outside of, of course, Reckless uh, High Jump Kick, which could be quite terrifying. But then again, I have uh, Tentacruels that should be able to cope with that. But that's the main idea. Uh, as always, you know, I won't avoid Rocks this game. Uh, the only strategy my opponent has uh, for every week really has been set up rocks and hope to stay. Uh, I've successfully taken them away once. I won that game. And I um, hope to do something like that again. But yeah, Charizard's move pool here is Dragon Claw Flare Blitz. So it is a wall by Asmaril, but a Flare Blitz does 50% on Asmaril in a way. So um, there was no reason of running Thunder Punch or anything like that. I'm better off with Roost and Dragon Dance. Like I said, Dragon Dance is mainly there for the Mega Manetric to be able to outspeed it. But there's nothing Mega Manetric can do to me, which is good to keep in mind. And if Tarantrum is Scarfed, then after one Dragon Dance, I should be able to not only outspeed it, but also want to KO it with the Dragon Claw. So yeah, that's the team actually. Nothing, like I said, big to it. I'm a bit scared of this team. There are a lot of things that I know could do well against me. Asmaril for once is just shit for me. Uh, Scissor could be a trouble. Talonflame could be trouble, depending if I get up my rocks or not. Mega Manetric is going to be able to outspeed my whole team. And there are a lot of monsters that can hit super effectively. So Tyranitar is my only main response to that. So if I lose Tyranitar, then it's very likely I'll lose this game. Uh, because Tyranitar walls so many of his mons. So I'm really, really, I have to stay focused, make sure that I keep that one alive. Uh, Porygon 2, not a big issue, but it is a mon that is hard to kill. Um, and I only have a few select mon that can deal with it properly. Those being Thunderous, Keldeo, and Charizard X. The other ones can't hurt it. At least not enough. Uh, Latias, yeah, I don't think it's too bad. It could be potentially Defogger. Aesilf is definitely going to come to see him. Um, being as only solid stealth rocker outside of Tarantrum. Manibus, I don't see. Mostly because I have a uh, Thunders. Uh, and Mian Xiao, I do believe will come. Mostly because it hits so hard on everything on my team. And it's a good response to my Tyranitar. But yeah. That will be pretty much what I have in store. And this game will go up on Wednesday. The... 2nd March, which is, is that, yeah, tomorrow I upload this on Tuesday, <laughs> my bad, uh, but anyway, I want to thank everybody for watching, and uh, yeah, let's hope the Scandinavian Stufflands can take our second victory, and don't be hacks, I'm tired of that already, so yeah, thanks everybody for watching, and I see you tomorrow, until then, take care, bye.